well. Felt like right now would be the perfect opportunity to make a little quick clip. All right, we're uh, Tetrising some cars around to get this uh, Mach 1 at the very front. So let's talk about the Mach 1. All right, now the first year of the Mach 1 was 1969. Okay, and that was following, I can't do math in my head right now, but the first Mustang was introduced in 1964 and a half. All right, so somebody write some arithmetic down there. Now, in between that time, and I'm okay, I'm gonna backtrack a little bit. Now, when the, first, when the Mustang first came around, it was trying to combat this image that it had slightly gotten as being a secretary's car, right? So how they did that? Well, they came out with the GT350, all right? Yeah, you had that Wimbledon white with the blue, I always forget the name of the paint for the blue. Oh, it's gonna bug the bejesus out of me. Anyways, they had a specific paint scheme for the GT350, and then they would come out with the GT500 that was uh, assisted with uh, Sh the man, the myth, the legend, Carol Shelby, right? And then they would have to come out with another performance edition, and that is when they came out with the Mach 1. That's my brother over there making fart noises. Thanks a lot, Chad. Anyways, and uh, the Mach 1 was awesome. You could get a variety of engines. There was like a 350 Cleveland, 350 Windsor. You had a, uh, right here, what we have is the um, 428 Cobra Jet. You could also get the 428 Super Cobra Jet. Ah! Um, they were just overall super rad cars. This one's fabulous to drive. Let me fix that hand. Uh, it also has the shaker hood, all right? So the air is going in there, and it is just like, it gives you a driving experience. This is owned by a very lovely lady, Marsha Luandos. She's let me take it on a few drives. She's actually selling it, too, to my knowledge. So if you're interested, if you're interested, maybe I'll have my uh, email down in the bottom of there, and we can we can connect you through there but uh it's a fabulous car it is it is not manual but it is still a fabulous driving experience super duper fun so let's take a little look around <laughs> basically playing a little bit of Tetris to get the Mach 1 closest to the garage door and we just have the uh, Mercy Lago all set up. Beautiful car. Let's watch it drive away. So, I don't know if you've ever gotten into a Murcielago before, but it ain't easy. Last time I got into that car, just we were just moving it in and out of the shop. Uh, we're working on it at, at our mechanic shop, Shook Enterprises. Last time I got in and out of there, uh, driving it in at night, I bruised a hip, all right? Like, I, it is not, like, you gotta do some yoga to get in there. All right, let's enjoy start. We'll see if, we'll see if that car almost started. All right, well, we are gonna start, I'll wait till they're done making noise so that you can enjoy the startup of this 1969 Mustang Mach 1, all right? It's always, you never know what you're gonna get when you're starting something up. Check out that beautiful blue Lincoln right there. Car paradise, car paradise. Okay. All right, let's see what we can do here. Sometimes it starts like right up. Not quite, that's okay. Oh, okay, 
Yeah, that was on the way. Look at that shaker hood up there. Mm. I love this car. visibility out of this thing. But what I do see always trust your mirrors. like I do then go ahead and press the subscribe button which might be there might be there wherever it is there will be more of this